wants to be king! Welcome back to the War Room. I've said this many times, that one of the most fulfilling parts of this channel is the interaction that I am able to have with some of the people who subscribe. And for the most part, the conversation is is pretty pretty intellectual. Even even in disagreement, most of the people that comment on the videos have some common sense and they at least have the ability to understand and to hear what I'm trying to say, even if they don't agree with it. But every now and then, there's a complete vaginal loser that'll come into the comments and they get my attention. Not because, not because anything that they say is profound on any level, but rather because it, it's a course correction. And it's also a marker that lets me know that it's, you know, every now and then I have to refresh the purpose of this channel. I've said it many times and I'll say it once again. If, if you're a male or a man who's made out of bitch, this channel's not for you. If you're a victim, if you wanna point at, at the world and cry about all the terrible things that, that happen to you, which make it such that you're a loser and you wanna validate your position in life, this channel's not for you. This is not for sheep. This is not for weak, pathetic men. This is not for the average man. That's one of the narratives that I've heard time and time again. I listened to a conversation on Duke and Don's channel. And a lot of these guys, a lot of men who have fallen victim to the scam artist, they preach this common man narrative. The common, the average guy, the average guy. Well, the last comment that I got on my video from a clown named Bo was a projection of his loser life and how I couldn't understand how the average man is, how the average man's experience was in America. And he even went so far as to say that I sounded like an 18 year old that didn't know anything, which let me know that this dude is a functional retard at best. But the common average man narrative, I heard that over and over on Duke and Don's live stream. And it made me really stop and, and realize there is a string of truth that goes through the people who praise and deify fresh and fit, Donovan Sharp and all of these losers in this space that preach this projection of their own weakness. And that's that they're all average men, average men. Now, one would think that if it's average, that it was, it was the, it's the norm. But if you really take a dive into what it means to be an average man in our country today, it means that mediocrity is praised as greatness. Pseudo intellect and pseudo masculinity is praised as the real thing. And this narrative that's preached that the average man doesn't have, to, he doesn't have an experience because he doesn't have X, Y, and Z. But whatever, whatever their gods tell them that they're supposed to have, and those are the things that, that they're, they just have to acquire these things, reach this point, buy this car. That's all you got to do. And you'll be above the average man. Well, this is the painful truth about the average man in America, probably the average man in the world. It's influenced by Western culture. The average man is a pathetic, whiny, vaginal bitch. And if you run around calling yourself the average man and, and crying about your experience in life, you simply have to step back and look at what you are, who you really are. Now I know that's gonna be painful 
for all of you who subscribe to your participation trophy ideology that you're fine just the way you are and it's somebody else's fault because you're the average guy. The truth in that whole statement is you might be the average guy, but it's nobody else's fault. Nobody's going to come to save you. Nobody gives a shit about who you point the finger at and blame for your lot in life. The clown who got my attention was crying about working at a fast food restaurant for ungodly hours a week. And, and not understanding this struggle and this, this hardship that, that he's projecting onto me. The truth of the matter is, is this clown has no fucking idea about what my life was. But he's right. I don't know anything about his life. But I do know that it's his own fault for being subject to only being qualified to work at a fast food restaurant. And my question would be, if you're putting 180 hours in a week, why aren't you the manager? That's somebody else's fault too, right? The biggest, the biggest problem with males in our culture is they have become so vaginal, so feminine, so pathetically weak that they blame everyone else. They blame everyone else and they've got this, they've got such a lot in life that nobody can possibly understand what they've been through. I'm exactly, I'm exactly where society wants me to be, son. It's the man's fault. It's the man's fault that when you went to school, you chose to ditch or fuck around in the back of the class, not get extra tutor tutoring because you're retarded, not learn how to read a ruler, not learn how to do simple math? Was that somebody else's fault too? See, when you come, when you come into this space and try to project any of this loser ideology, you get no, you get no voice here. You get no mic here, but I will address this. I will address this because there's so many men, so many young men, middle-aged men who think that some sort of way it's someone else's fault that life is what it is. You're not special. You're not going through anything that is unique. Your, your struggles do not make you special. No matter what, no matter what the society tells you, no matter what your mom told you, no matter what lies you were told, you're not special. You're not special and it's nobody's fault that you are where you are if you're an adult. There's no one you can blame, especially if you're smart enough to blame it on your parents or blame it on someone else. If you're smart enough to go down the checklist of all the reasons why you've been oppressed and all the reasons why you're wallowing around in shit, then you're smart enough to change it. But the problem is, is that takes real work. That takes ownership. That takes accountability. And that takes figuring out your own way instead of sitting back whining, crying, blaming, and waiting on a rescue boat. The truth of the matter is, young men, culture is messed up. Everything's jacked up. You can point at all the things that are messed up and whine about it and cry, complain, or you can step in to life, step into your manhood and do something to change it. Dropping comments, on someone's video trying to educate someone when you're an adolescent dummy does that doesn't affect change because you don't get to come in my classroom and do the same thing that you did when you had a chance to not be an idiot when you had a chance to actually learn you chose to do what you chose to do the second the second installation of this is poetically tied in with Mr. Dumbass's comment. You need to take accountability, ownership of your life. No matter what's happened to you, no matter what's happening around you, stop waiting for somebody to give you a job and go make a job. Stop to waiting for handouts and go get what you want. Go earn what you're worth. But if all you're worth is pushing a button and getting the fries out there, then you should do that with the utmost enthusiasm because that's exactly what you're worth. That's exactly what you've worked for.
take accountability, take ownership of your life, and couple that with the mastery of your time, then and only then will you find your way out of being the average man. Out.